Welcome to the uh, latest Greyhound Star Zoom call. As you can see on screen, we have the uh, current trainer of the year, Patrick Janssens. Um, wanted to talk to Patrick a, co a couple of other subjects that uh, we will hopefully run in different uh, different videos. But uh, starting off really, Patrick, start of the year, been quite tough on the open race front in terms of lack of opens. Yeah, it is, you know, especially sort of, it's, it's not really a problem for the for the better class dogs, sort of like your Doomies and Kalal Lions, because they're only trialling and laid out for competition. But it's sort of the younger dogs who are coming through, like the ones you want to take to Monmore, you want to give them a bit of race experience before they get there. And before I could use Central Park and Maiden, them heat some finals, a winner of one, and, and work their way up that way. While now they're only trialling at Monmore Green, and next week there's some trial stakes, so they're going to run in dead. But if you have too many, they probably don't all get a race and... That's, that's where the problem lies, you know. There is not enough, really, races for them them type of dogs to bring them dogs on. That's, yeah. that, that's a really big problem. And I take it it's not going to be helped. You've always been a, 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 a big supporter of Romford, I guess, as they reduce their number of opens. That, again, will probably make life a little bit more difficult for you too. Yeah, it definitely will. It definitely will. Yeah. You know, you can only enter so many and, and, and see if they get on, you know. So... Uh, like at Romford, if they're only going to do seven or eight homes, whatever they said, um, you, you're going to get top, top class racing. And so th they probably cut out maidens and maiden stayers. And if you want to step dogs up, you know, you have to put them straight away in the deep end. And it's, it's very difficult for, for dogs to bring them on gradually. Yeah, I mean, I, I do have some sympathy for, for what you know, the, the problems that, that they faced. I mean, looking at some of the recent Opens, there been a lot where you've sort of had two runners. Mark's had two runners. Um, Ernie's had, you know, either one or two. That the, There aren't haven't been that many trainers that have been participating. Do you think that that would ease off as we come out of COVID? Do you think that um, you would get more trainers travelling? I think you always get that sort of these lack of entry sort of in January, don't you? Do you know? And, and sort of, I think it always picks up sort of more just before when, when, when they have the golden sprint coming on and more people come down because they, they, they want to try their dogs in the golden sprint and, and things like that. But I don't know. I don't know really what the problem is. You know, I, I always been going to Romford and, you know, I always give dogs not one go, two, three goes before I won't give up after one run. So, and I think sometimes, you know, the, it's not a hard track to run, but it's, it's, it's a different track to run. So you, you need to keep keep sticking at the track, really, for a good few times before you can tell this dog don't run it. Yeah. I mean, my, my own view is, in, in relation to someone like Romford, is that I would imagine that the market will prevail. So if it transpires that um, the bookmakers, who ultimately finance everything one way or another, including RPG TV, if they if their turnover plummets because they're not getting the kind of racing that you and I would probably assume they're looking for, maybe we're wrong. But if that happens, then you'd think in a reasonably short space of time, um, phone calls will be made and and people will be told actually we want to reinstate the open racing because turnover has been affected. Yeah, I think so. You know, listen, you only have to look at like Paul Birdie comes up regular down with his, with his Yarmouth runners and everything. He does quite well there, you know, but. So more or less like like more smaller trainers like you know you Peter Mingays from from Yarmouth and he used to go down there with his one runner or, and he used to try to win a maiden and everything but I think it's even more difficult for them people now to get on really you know because you know most of the times they come without a trial and they, you know what I mean they have no real form on their just degraded form so I think I think they're digging a hole for themselves I really do I think. They should, you know, you should try to keep these albums going, especially, you know, to bring dogs on. Um, listen, Seaglass Tiger started the trumpet for me, you know, in a maiden competition. I have so many who started there, really. You know, Kilmore Lemon started there for me. Um, loads of dogs. I think it's a, it's a safe track. It's a very good track. It's well maintained. Um, yeah, I, I, I like going there. I really do. Yeah, how are you doing for trials? Is it easy to get trials? Yeah, that's not not bad really. You know, I've been to Momo yesterday with ten of them, and they they, they went all very well. Um, I, I've been to Crayford no, and Romford. They've been very helpful. There's no problem at all at the moment. And Toaster would be very helpful as well. 
Yeah, I was looking at the uh, the, the times yesterday. Yours went particularly. Was it John Joe went particularly well, didn't he? And uh, just, yeah. just just beat um, Belly in a two dog trial. Am I right? Yeah, two dog trial. Yeah, it was only three quarters of a length between them. Um, John Joe showed more early, a bit more middle, but Belly was coming on very very strong. Um, time was very good. Um, she trialed very well as well. Was very impressed with her buckles melody. Um, I was very impressed with Lenson Doolin. Buff the Tiger, he don't seem to run the first two, but he's better than, he was this week better than last week, but um, Darby Luck, he seemed to run on very strong from halfway as well. Um, he was my slowest, he done 28.60, but I'm going to enter them all for next week for trial stakes um, and see how they go, but no, they, I thought they all trial very well.